After announcing Florida's status as the state with the highest number of Zika cases in the U.S., now at 113, U.S. Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz called for Congress to approve the $1.9 billion in emergency Zika funding requested by President Barack Obama. The administration has asked for a reasonable amount of resources to be able to vaccinate people, to be able to educate them so that they can make sure that they can minimize their risk of exposure. We need to come together and make sure that we throw an energy ball of resources, multi-prong effort at this crisis so that it, we don't end up, right now we have 113 cases. I don't want to be standing out here when we have thousands of cases or hundreds of cases because it, it, no one acted. The mosquitoes don't know whether they're biting a Republican or a Democrat. In the backyard of the Hollywood mayor's home, Michael Doyle of the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District gave tips for South Florida residents interested in reducing standing water and eliminating other breeding grounds for mosquitoes around their home. It's a house-to-house -house mosquito. You're almost killing them one at a time. Where, where in typical Florida mosquito control that we're great at, we're flying airplanes and, and trucks and killing millions at a time. So, so, the, so the short term tool is house to house warfare essentially for it. Um, I think that we'll have to do this summer and maybe the next. One thing that people don't think about are gutters. The, um, if, if gutters get clogged and just have pools of water, the mosquito lays its eggs in the dry gutter waiting for the next rainstorm. And those eggs can sit for three to three months, six months. If the water's clogged or sitting in any place like that, then, uh, then they'll grow in there for the first after each rainstorm. Even uh, crooks in, in trees, for example, something like this, if it rains hard and water sits in, in a little hole like this, that's a perfect place to grow these mosquitoes. And that's how it avoids predators, by hiding and growing in little tiny pockets that are, that are away from dragonflies and frogs and those types of things. Uh, water in between rainstorms, the mosquitoes will fly down into, these, into pipes like this and lay their eggs and come flying out to go around the corner to, to get people. So these things need to be treated with some type of long-term larvicide, we call it. What uh, the resident of Broward County can do is just call the mosquito control section of, uh, for Broward County and we'll come and do it and at no charge. It's a service that the county provides. Um, our mosquito control inspector will come out and point out things just like I just did for you. Uh, and then if there is um, an infestation, uh, we'll treat that as well.